Today, more than 30 million Americans have diabetes. Being obese, smoking, drinking, an unhealthy diet, they can all be contributing factors. But could a seemingly healthy snack up your odds for diabetes? Well, maybe. In this case, I'm talking about dried fruit. This is important because believe it or not, the wrong kind of dried fruit could cause a spike in your blood sugar. Two things here. When fruit is dried, obviously you're taking off all the, the water. So it's more concentrated, right? Which is fine, because you're still getting the fiber in there. But the issue is many, many dried fruits, there's then added sugar on top of it. Mm. So in one serving, you're getting a, potentially a lot of extra added sugar calories that you weren't expecting. And if you don't read the back of the package, you won't know if there's added sugar. I, I gotta tell you, we could even do a taste test. You guys wanna mm. try this? Yes. It's interesting, because you can tell immediately when you try dried fruit if there's added sugars, because it'll taste so much sweeter than the actual fruit itself. I think the thing with dried fruit is because it is so much more concentrated, sometimes it's hard to know your portions. I think this is You know, is where you have like sugar, a true... This is too fruit. good to not have added sugar. <laughs> so dried fruit still has a role in a healthy diet. And what I would say is just watch the added sugars in that dried fruit and just watch your portion sizes. But again, it kind of gets back to last yeah. segment. Mm -hmm. Moderation. All things in moderation.